bro. I'm so hungry, man. Oh. I'm gonna make some popcorn. Oh. No, it can't end like this. You can't. You can't. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Team Natty here again, back with another video. Sorry for the wait. Freddy Games, this one is for you. This is a specific video for Freddy Games, but it can apply to anyone really, especially people who love to snack. I, myself, and my girlfriend are definitely people who love to snack. I've got to have something around to munch on. That sounds wrong. So what I'm talking about is when I'm watching TV, when I'm playing video games, I'm sure you guys know this, you gotta, you want something to just like continuously eat. I don't know what it is. It's some like trance stuff. I honestly, I don't get it, but whatever. You know, I love popcorn, salty foods. Not so much chips. I think they're too greasy. They make me a little sick, but popcorn, cereal, Pop-Tarts, candy, just anything and everything that's not good for me. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is you don't need to do that kind of stuff. So my first tip, tip number one, five tips, how to help curb snacking. Have a glass of water. Instead, get a big old jug of water and every time you want to reach up to your mouth and put something in it, take a sip of water instead. Most of you are dehydrated anyway. We all are as Americans it seems. Like we eat too much sodium and don't get enough water. Uh, constantly depriving ourselves. Your body is made up mostly of water, so you want to replenish that, and it's just good for you all around, except if you drink too much, then you can die. When you're watching TV or playing a video game, start sipping some water, and, get, and the, the bonus effect of that is it'll make you get up and have to use the restroom, so then you're getting more steps in anyway, especially if you have to walk upstairs to use the restroom. Boom, there you go, I just solved you a problem. Number two, snack healthier. So if you absolutely have to sit down and eat something when you're watching a TV uh, show or a movie or playing a video game, instead of chips, replace it with carrots or cauliflower or broccoli. Something that's actually good for you, nutritious. Uh, don't dip it in ranch. I'm not talking about like a broccoli, piece of broccoli covered in cheese or ranch. I'm talking about like fresh um, you know, actual vegetables that you, you know, produce. Stuff that's not like cooked I mean, I guess if you want to eat steamed broccoli, you can, or steamed cauliflower, but mostly fresh vegetables. Just sit there. You can even add a little bit of salt to them if you want, but just drink the water and eat the fresh veggies instead. Tip number three. When hungry, at the couch, before you even start snacking, ask yourself, would I like an apple? Or would I like carrots? If the answer is no, then you're not hungry. You're just bored and you're just trying to boredom eat. It happens to all of us, but that's the simple question I like to ask myself is, would I rather eat or have like a protein shake or eat a eat a eat um, an apple or a piece of fruit instead of having popcorn or something like that? And that usually helps me think like, remember, or it helps me remember, hey, I'm not actually hungry right now. I'm just, I'm being bad and I can't do that. Tip number four, spend less time on the video games and on the TV. This is just um, kind of a no brainer here, guys. You've only got one life to live, and to take your time and waste it on a couch, sitting around all day, spending all that time, like when you could be, you know, working towards your goals or making something out of yourself, or you know, having fun with your friends in different ways, like going bowling or something. Have you ever gone bowling? It's it's freaking awesome. Uh, so spend less time watching TV shows and doing mindless stuff, which leads to mindless eating. If you uh, are actively doing something, most of the time you won't have time to mindlessly snack. Tip number five, instead of just sitting there and like every time you get hungry uh, eating something, think about it this way. If you're sitting at a show and you have the, 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 the want or the urge to eat like some chips or something, get down and do 20 push-ups, okay? Or get down and do 20 sit-ups. And just do that several times throughout your your show or your game, like every couple minutes, or like say you have some intervals, like every 20 minutes on this game, you can even set a timer on your phone or just watch the clock if you can. And every 20 minutes, oh yeah, gotta do some push ups, or oh yeah, gotta do some sit ups, or maybe even some burpees or something. And that'll make sure uh, that instead of snacking, you're doing something active and actually getting some exercise. And if you have to absolutely watch the TV or, or you know, do a show or play a video game, you can, you can at least watch the TV while you're doing these exercises, or you can pause the game, unless it's online, of course, but you can. 
you know, do a little bit of exercise and get yourself moving and your heart rate elevated and then sit back down and start doing your thing again. So those are some five tips to help stop snacking mindlessly and terribly while playing video games or watching TV. But that's not the only thing I came here to tell you guys today. For any games, you wanted a diet for yourself. Now, as a teenager, uh, I assume you're living with your parents still and everything, it's hard to diet unless your parents are on board with it because, you know, they might not want to be vegetarian, say so you want to do vegetarian, or when you want to do keto, they might not want to do keto. And if you're willing to cook for yourself, that's fine, but someone's got to buy groceries, so unless you have a job, then it gets tough. There's just so many things about it, you know, so what I suggest to you and what I wish I knew as a teenager and what I wish I had as a teenager is a smartphone, um, which they were around when I was a teenager. I just didn't get one until 2015, so, you know, call me old-fashioned or whatever, but if you have a smartphone, uh, download the MyFitnessPal app. This is the easiest thing you can do. I've said this so many times. And put in all of your numbers and make sure you're exact with it. Be very, very true to it, you know. Be honest with yourself on when you put these numbers in and make sure you stick with it. But be honest with my fitness pal app and it'll give you the calories that are necessary for you to eat in a day in order to be in a caloric deficit and lose weight. And then track them on my fitness pal. Before you even think of eating anything, track it. Like the other, like, okay, so here's an example. I'll be at work. I'm thinking, man, doesn't a donut sound good? And I'll be like, oh, I'll just go get a donut. But wait. I pull up my fitness pal and instantly before I even eat the donut or even go get the donut, I log it as if I've already eaten it. And that pops up and I see how many calories I'd have left for the day if I had eaten it or you know how it fits my macros for the day. And if I'm okay with it or if it does, like if I have the calories and say I'm gonna have you know dinner later, then if, if it fits, then I go eat it. You can log your entire day in advance so you know what you're gonna have for breakfast, you know what you're gonna have for dinner, you know what you're gonna have for lunch, you can log up all of those things, put it in my fitness pal and see what extra calories you have. And then if it fits in your calorie goal, then you can eat it and it's fine. It won't hurt you because it's not like chips will make you fat. Being in a calorie surplus will make you fat. Uh, chips are just easy to add to that because it's, they're empty calories, they're cal calorie dense, and you can sit there and eat a ton of them. But what you also have to do is you have to measure it out. You can't just be like, oh, it says I can have one, like a serving of chips, cool, and then just sit there and eat chips all day. You have to actually measure out serving chips. So it's like, oh, okay, seven chips is 140 calories. Whoa, okay. Well, I'll uh, lay out seven chips and then have seven chips, and that'll be it, and then I'm good. Then I've had my little fix. And sometimes I'll do that myself. Like something, I just need something really salty, or I just need some chips. So I'll lay out some tortilla chips. I'll log it. I'll have seven tortilla chips. I'll make sure I eat each one slowly and actually enjoy it. And then by the time I'm done, I usually don't want any more chips. It's kind of weird to say something like that. Oh, I actually like like measure out my chips or something. But in the end, it will work. Trust me on this one. I've done it several times. I've gotten down a single digit body fat. I have the pictures to prove it. I've gone and competed in bodybuilding shows. So it's not, it's not hard to do as a teenager when your house is probably full of food that your mom and dad are buying. Uh, how to just log what you're going to eat from them correctly. That is what I would suggest to you is the easiest, quickest way to start shedding pounds is just by logging my fitness pal, Freddy. Um, and then what I also suggest you do is um, if you're sitting down or you're at home, like in between homework or doing something like leisure time or whatever, if you don't have a gym or don't have the equipment, do some push-ups on the ground, do some sit-ups, do some burpees, do some mountain climbers. I'm going to make a part two to this video where I actually show you quick at-home workout you can do while doing stuff like mindlessly, like watching TV or um, homework's not mindless, but you know, while doing something stationary like homework. And then there's going to be a part three where I'm going to bring my brother in and he and I were actually really addicted to RuneScape for a long time. but. Um, my brother let himself go, to be quite honest, but he's since, um, well, actually, when he was a teenager, uh, like yourself, he had, you know, redeemed himself, basically, and he started changing things in his diet, like he cut out pop entirely. He started doing Billy Blank's Tai Bo videotapes every single morning when he woke up for like 30 or 60 minutes. It's not a big deal. It's a small part of his day. He woke up, he did that first thing, and then he went about his day, everything regularly, and he lost a ton of weight and went from zero to hero in no time. I mean... He was uh, a chunker one moment, and then the next he was uh, a slim, good-looking, tall dude. So it's and if you're not like trying to look like a bodybuilder, be huge. It's something that's easily doable and something that will get you there. So if you just want a fit, nice lifestyle, um, that's something we're going to talk about. 
Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of boring because I didn't really move a whole lot or do anything or have big cutscenes, but uh, as always, take it easy, praise Jesus, stay natty, team natty out.